G'day and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm still waiting for material to continue with other projects, but I figured uh, since I was having fun adding functionality to the to the Maho, I figured I'd continue with that. Now, while this machine works fine, something that would really improve the user experience would be a pendant. Luckily, I've made one. It looks like a brick. I made it out of, out of a piece of. Uh, 7075T6 aircraft grade aluminium which I bought at Boeing Surplus about two decades ago and it's been following me around ever since. I recycled the original e-stop and hydraulic switches from the original Maho control panel, added an XC select switch, an int jog interval switch, and an encoder. Now, it's been finished for quite a long time, it's designed just to plug in, but my original intention was to pull a cable through to the user control module for this to connect to. As you can see, I even designed a slot for that connector into the bottom of the user control module. However, that might be one of those cases of the perfect being the enemy of the good, because the Maho control cabinet's got these two cutouts on the side. I think this was for the tape readers or something back in the day, and the second one yeah, that one was for that. Don't know what the second one was for. Doesn't really matter. They're long gone. What I think I'll now do is just put in the uh, D-sub connector here and run the pendant from this side. Once Tom and Peter developed their excellent uh, smart serial interface pendant, I probably should have abandoned this brick project, but I got kind of attached to it, you know. Two days later. Well, I've now made up a wiring harness to connect this into the machine. Don't know about you guys, but I find wiring super time consuming. It kind of took me two evenings to make up just this one harness, so. But anyway, it's now done and now it's time to install it. Two hours later. Now the pendant's wired up, I can start testing. First system, take the machine out of e-stop and that works. That's just hardwired into the e-stop chain, so that was the easiest part. Next up, Testing the hydraulic button, which becomes tool release. Yep, that's wired fine. So to check the encoder is correctly wired, I'll just check for 5 volts across its input pins. Okay, that looks fine. Now I'll connect up the earth wire to the uh, toy oscilloscope and see if we get a signal out of it. Okay, that's looking pretty normal. Just go through and make sure all of them are working. Yep. And the fourth pin. So now that encoder's counting correctly. Four to six more days later. Now it's probably not a good idea to show the inside of my pendant because well, it's a rat's nest, but when I connected the pendant, the communication between the 7i77 Mesa card and its daughter card stopped working. And I've now isolated it to this wire. Okay, This wire is supposed to be one of the jog increments, but as soon as I connect this up, it causes a fault. During some earlier testing, with the probe of my multimeter, I shorted this red power wire onto, onto this housing. And I'm wondering whether or not I might have shot the input, the input I see for the 7i77 at this specific location. On the Maho, I'll rewire it from the current pin, which I think has been killed, onto one of the other open input pins. Well, other than chasing one bug with the jog increments, this is now working. Can someone explain this? I've got four switches, right? One, two, three, four. However, when I step through these four switches, they're all being read correctly, but the output jog increment doesn't line up with the four increments 
which I've selected. Increment 1 should output 0, it outputs 0.1. 2 should output 0.1, it does a tenth. 3 should output 100, that outputs 0. And 4 also 0. Any advice on troubleshooting that? Greatly appreciated, thanks. Oh good, I finally received the aluminium. Maybe I can finally make some progress on the camera stand. Ouch, that's a pretty nasty gouge in it. Yeah, that one's not too bad, but this one looks pretty horrible. I think next week I'll continue on with uh, actual project work. But hey, thanks a lot for watching.